Hello Bots, today we'll be doing a tutorial on the aforementioned 1.95 seconds, 504 blocks, 5 by 5. This thing closes in 1.85 seconds, which is pretty epic, and it opens 1.95. And it's very sync as well. Uh, it definitely took a lot of work to get this layer off, but in the end it was pretty epic, so uh, let's just get on with the tutorial. Alright, so to build this, you're going to need a 9 by 4 by 14 area. And we're going to start with the layout. So the layout's uh, almost the same as last time. It's like a minor change in the bottom layout. Well, not even really part of the layout, it's just part of the sequence has changed, therefore we have to change part of the... whatever. It's slightly different from last time. So we're going to have our four blocks of storage on the bottom, and our door frame is going to be right here. Frame dropping so bad, what the heck. Alright, then we're gonna have our quad on the top, same as last time. Have the same observer pushers. Gonna have the same observer pusher here. That there. And the one change we're gonna have, we're gonna have just a chest on the bottom. <laughs> This one's gonna have no movable because we actually need this for an observer later. All right, we're gonna start on the input circuit and our input block is going to be right here. We're gonna have a slab underneath it and an observer facing this way to power this piston. We have a block right here that's gonna be powering this piston with a block on its face. We're gonna have a block right there. Actually, just fill all this up. I'm not. And then we're going to have a piston right here, and a block right here, oops, and an observer right there. Also a piston here, have a repeater right here, and two ticks, and then an observer facing that way. That should be it for our input circuit. Alright, let's get started on the bottom storage circuit. I'm going to start things off with a piston right here, that's going to get powered by this observer. One observer facing this direction, and then two more facing this direction. That's going to be pushed back up with this piston right here. I'm going to start things off with two observers facing downwards right here. I have a two tick repeater here, right for this block, and then another two tick repeater on this one's face. I'll just replace that. And then we are going to have a piston right here. It's going to be powering this block right here. We're going to place an observer, I'm oh, sorry, a hopper right here, because this has to be movable and on solid, so it doesn't power this piston. And we're going to run this down, like this, and we're going to place this hopper. We're going to have two observers like this, this block, and a piston to update this bottom one. Same thing on the other side, observer, block, and piston. And we're going to send the slider back up, an observer here, two more observers right here, Another observer, and one more facing back into this piston. I have two slabs and another hopper right here, facing into this redstone going into this chest right here. I'm going to have a sort of slider right here to power this storage piston. I have a hopper right here. Run that up into a block, piston to update, observer facing down, and a four tick repeater right there. One last thing is place an observer here, this facing downwards, grab an activator rail, and then into this input right here. And that should be actually most of our storage circuit done. We can give this a test if you want to. Like that, should do that. We can just refill everything. That might seem really slow, but that's actually necessary because of some weird sequencing stuff we have to do to get the timing just right. Before we move on to the double piston extender, let's uh, get these sides working. So we're going to go up from this, place four observers like this into a block. From this repeater, place two observers into a block with dust on it. That'll cover that side. And for this side, it's a bit more complicated because we also have to grab a signal running down this side for the double piston extender. Two rails like this. Two observers up and one across, two blocks, 
another block, all with dust on them, running into a block, an observer facing down, we'll grab our yellow wool for this, run it down to a piston, two more observers into a block, and have a rail right here, and then that's going to be powering a piston down there, and uh, as you can see our conundrum is very difficult to power these three pistons right here because we cannot power or update these at certain times so it becomes increasingly difficult to power this at the right time this is what took the longest to get so what we're actually going to use is a zero tick slider which only powers on the rising edge so it's going to push these over power these three and then push back over without powering again so let's grab a piece of glass here just doesn't have to be solid it just can be any block except for an immovable one of course that's going to be going into this piston facing upwards, which will be updating this piston facing across. So as you can see, if we power this, it should power only those three pistons. And we're going to power it again later. So running this around into a block. And that should actually do our entire closing. We can test this. Like this. And you can just power it again, it won't do anything. We don't have the top to push the blocks down yet. Oops. Just fail in this part of the frame if you want. Oops. So there you go. And now let's move on to the top. All right. So the first thing we're going to need is our instant extension circuit. So let's fill in this part of the floor here, or the ceiling, not the floor. And we're going to have a slab right here. A one tick repeater on it, running into a block, or running into a dust. I'm going to be blocking this dust from going up here onto this slab with this piston. I'm going to just move this block out to here. We're going to have a rail down here, and that's going to be activating an observer. Run dust across there. We're going to have a blue input here because it's mainly used in the retraction of the quad. And we just need an updater piston right here. And just kind of break down and place it right here. This should be uh, right here on this dust line. And now for these uh, observer pushers right here, we're going to take care of two of them with this lamp system right here. And I have one observer facing across into this, another one facing across into this block right here. And we're actually going to have a piston right here. And that's going to be responsible for spitting this block out at the beginning of the opening, right here. We're going to have an activator rail out from here. And that's going to be powering this block, with this repeater, to power that one down. And we're going to run two observers like this into a dust. And to power it back up again, we're going to run three more observers like this into a block up here. And then to update it, we're going to have a normal piston facing this way. We're going to do another part of the quad extension with this right here. Uh, we're going to have this block up here for so it doesn't power on the closing. Two tick repeater. And you can just connect this line up like so. That's going to go up into a block, into a piston, and to another observer like that. And that's actually going to be it for our extension. All we need now is just to retract this. So what we're going to do first is this right here. Run this double pulse into this line right here. And grab another double pulse. Like this. And run it into the top line. And a slab, a block, and another slab like this. We're going to have rails on them. Like this. And just observers from here facing into these top pistons. And then from here, we're going to place an observer running out from this. And then we're going to break these two right here, just temporarily. We're going to run an observer down into a hopper. That'll also power this piston. Then once that gets pushed over, we're going to power this piston like that. And now you can just uh, replace those pistons. And we're going to have two more pulses. One of which is going to be going down this way to a block right here. And we just replace this repeater that we broke. This is going to run into a piston right here. And 
four more observers running to this line right here. And that should be our entire door done. We can give this a test if we want. Uh, what did I forget this time? Yeah, there we go. That works. We can fill out our door frame. Give this a final test. Can see it from this side. Yeah. Hope you're able to follow the tutorial and build this awesome door. Um, personally, I still like the 1.75 seconds, 540 blocks one, but this one is still really cool as well. Still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? Why? Oh, okay.